everyone, welcome to another job site live. I'm Sammy with Bridget. Today we're gonna to be talking about our some sea snake cameras and we have some exciting features uh, to share with you all. Uh, make sure you're staying active in the comments, ask questions, and today a lucky winner will go home with a rigid solo stove. And now I will kick it off to Kyle. Hey guys, I'm Kyle. I am a product manager here at Rigid. Uh, today, I'm excited to share with you guys some, uh, some new products we're launching. Um, before I get going, I kind of want to just give a brief history lesson of the uh, digital self-leveling uh, product line. So, uh, starting off with the Mini Pro, you guys may remember this from a few wet shows ago. Uh, we launched the Mini Pro. Big innovation there was, uh, of course, going down from the 30 millimeter camera head down to the 25 millimeter camera head. Um, you know, great innovation, just getting that uh, more compact camera head. Um, in addition to that, we also launched digital self-leveling with that product. Um, so since then, you know, we've had um, a good couple of years with the Mini Pro. We decided to expand that product offering to the other camera reels. So now the C40 and M40 will now have digital self-leveling um, along with the 200 and 325 foot standards. Um, and those are available now. So. Uh, just wanted to do kind of a brief overview of what digital self-leveling is, because you hear us talking about it, you hear the acronym DSL, and I just want to kind of explain what does that actually mean for you guys. So in traditional self-leveling, basically, if you kind of follow me here real quick, so if you go inside of the camera head, um, there's a little weight that brings that camera head down to the bottom, always finding the bottom, you know, where gravity's at, always taking it to the bottom of the pipe, and that is constantly moving and constantly rotating. And essentially what's transmitting that signal and allowing it to spin is what's called a slip ring connection. That slip ring connection is always contacting its pin. It's always spinning around, um, always giving you the you know, live feed to the video. What can happen over time is that connection will wear out. Um, you know, it won't happen you know, in a couple of months, it happens five, 10 years down the line, but it still can wear out over time. And that's where you'll start getting you know, delays in the image or you know, possibly the self-leveling sticking and then you basically have like a fixed camera head. So that's where digital self-leveling comes in. Digital self-leveling is exactly what it sounds like. You're self-leveling the image digitally. So you're using software instead of a mechanical moving piece. Why is that great? Because we've essentially gotten rid of a moving component, um, which means that there's no service intervals on the camera head. So it's something we're very excited about. Um, it's making the product even more durable and it's gonna keep you guys running um, longer and faster. Um, Another great part about digital self-leveling is that it keeps the image crisp and clear. Since there's no need for that, that weight to be rocking back and forth in the bottom of the camera head, it's always consistently at the bottom of the pipe. You don't see um, any image breaking up. There's no delays. It's crisp, clear, and smooth the whole way through. So, um, like I said before, we got a couple new products that are launching with that. You know, of course, we have the Mini. Now we have the C40, M40 in both of the standards. Um, I have a quick little product setup right here. I wanted to also show this off. So you guys know in our compacts, obviously the Versa usually sits in here. That's our you know, six and a half inch monitor. Um, it also can accept this uh, HQX stand, which we sell. Uh, the HQX stand is ideal for if you wanna you know, roll into the job site with an iPad, you could also use your phone. And I just wanted to show the compatibility um, of, of these devices with iPads and mobile devices, really any uh, mobile tablet or device. And that just slides right back in there and fits in just like the Versa does. Awesome, okay, cool. So uh, we talked a little bit about digital self-leveling, kind of the whole product line. I also want to show you guys how easy it is to upgrade your unit. So on the Mini Pro here, I'm going to actually use, this is called a spanner wrench. So this comes with every unit that we sell. Um, you guys may remember it. You know, a lot of times it gets thrown out just because it's a little plastic piece and people are you know, wondering, hey, what do you even do with this? This is exactly what you do with it. So you plug it in right here to where the start of that spring is. And you can actually unscrew your camera head right there. There's a second cuffling directly underneath and it pops off just like that. It's just a three pin connection. So once you have your camera head off, if you're looking to upgrade, I'm gonna have you guys follow me over this way. Say we're bringing it to our new camera reel. This is how easy it is to get going with that. So you just line up your three pins just like this. Awesome. Screw back in that cuffling. Make sure it's secure. See, we're booting up right there. 
And then the last piece is you just line up that spring. It slides on just like that. Easy peasy. Awesome. All right, so we got a little product demo set up for you guys. Always make sure you put on your PPE whenever you're using our, uh, our units. Um, this is a clean pipe that we're using in our schoolhouse. Um, so, you know, there's no, um, you know, gross stuff waiting in this line. So no need for gloves on this demo. We go ahead and put the camera right in. So, um, you know, we got our image up here on the uh, CS12X. I also have it down here on my phone using the HQX Live app. You can live stream to that app, record, uh, take photos, whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do to send it off to, uh, to whoever needs it. And as you're pushing, you can see just how smooth that camera head image is. We've got a little bit of a uh, prop sitting in this drain, clears right through that. And this right here, so this is the first bend I wanted to get through. So just seeing how quickly, how easily getting through that bend with no delay to the image. I mean, it finds the bottom of the pipe immediately and you're not getting any spinning, you're not getting any delay or you know, kind of blackouts in the image. It's crisp, clear, and smooth. Another thing I'd like to point out is the cable counter. So this is uh, starting to get into more of our TrueSense suite of, uh, of features. That is gonna tell you exactly how far out the, uh, the push rod is. Um, if you needed to start a new measurement, you could actually go and zero it out and start from zero and push back out. And it'll remember right where you were at if you wanna take a different measurement. Most people start it right before they go into the pipe. Another great feature on our cameras is tilt sense. Um, I wanted to explain tilt sense real quick because I think it's you know one of those one of those words we use and people might not you know understand fully what it means. But tilt sense is this little um, this little circle down here in the bottom left corner of the screen, and what that's going to tell you is the camera head's degree of pitch in the pipe. And you know if you're asking yourself why that might be useful, um, what that's great for is trying to figure out if the pipe is on grade or if it has a belly in it. Um, you might be able to kind of figure that out if there's water sitting in the bottom of it, kind of out of nowhere, like, oh, there's obviously a belly in this. With tilt sense, you can actually confirm it. You know, make sure that it's going down and up and you're actually confirming what you're seeing on the screen. So I'm gonna continue just a little bit further out. And this is our color wheel. So another great feature of our cameras is uh, HDR. It's another acronym you hear us talking about. I think a lot of people are a little confused when they hear it. HDR stands for high dynamic range. You see, you spell it out and it's still, still confusing. You're still wondering what that is. High dynamic range is really what is allowing our cameras to see as far as they can see and see into those dark spaces that other cameras can't get to. So here, I wanna do a quick little demo of what HDR does for our cameras. So this is what pretty much every other camera on the market looks like if you approach this, uh, this piece of the pipe. And this is what ours looks like with HDR. Um, so again, it's all about getting a crisp, clear image. You can see much further, um, illuminate the darker parts of the pipe. Um, overall, you know, a great, uh, great feature to the catalog. So yeah, um, that is pretty much it. Uh, does anyone have any questions? I can go through them now. Yes. What's the market prices of these machines? Yeah, great question. So happy to announce that they are the same price as the existing. So the C40 DSL is the same price as the C40, M40 DSL, same price as the M40, so on and so forth. Awesome. Someone asked, how do I enable Tilt Sense to show um, how I record on the app or when he records on the app? Yeah, sorry, it was a tilt sense or? Uh, tilt sense. So tilt sense is always always on the screen if it's a true sense capable device. Um, it should always show up in the left hand corner um, if you're running a CSX series monitor or a true sense device. So it should just show up by default. Awesome. Is there a way to get rid of the box that spins on the screen? Yeah, that's a great question. I actually didn't cover that. So this is, this is perfect. So. Um, it's actually at a pretty good point right now. So what they're talking about is this boxing around the edge. Obviously I talked about that image is being rotated on the screen. Um, some people don't like looking at that or might get distracted by it. We actually have a very clever way to get rid of it. So if you touch this right arrow on the monitor and go down, scroll down to this very bottom um, icon, so you can see real quick, just push down all the way to the bottom and then click enter, you'll go into auto, auto zoom mode. Outside of that, um, 
if you're not really happy with how far it's zooming in, if you want it to be a little less, you want to fine tune it a little bit more, you can actually go into your menu settings. I'm already on it, but you scroll down to where you see this camera head, click on that. And then I already have it open, but a lot of times it'll say like open or drop down and then scroll down to the default zoom into. And this is going to be, um, oh, whoops, sorry, I did the wrong one. You're gonna scroll down to where it says zoom into, and then that's gonna allow you to pick um, how far you want it to go in. I typically recommend about 1.2, 1.3. It kind of strikes a nice balance between um, uh, where you're just kind of getting rid of the letterboxing, it's not as distracting. You're still seeing the full range of the pipe though. What else we got? Someone asked, how does it connect to smart devices, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? So it actually uses both. So Bluetooth is used to help actually like find the unit itself, but the connection is actually done through Wi-Fi. Awesome. Are the camera heads replaceable? They are, yeah. So um, that was kind of the, the first demo I showed when I walked from here to here. Um, if you bust your camera head, you can very easily replace it. Um, you know, we have all of the system uh, system camera heads as well as you know all the different sizes um available <laughs> so you'd be very easily replaceable yes awesome another one why should i care or buy uh digital something with digital self-leveling that's a great question okay so we're talking about this all the time right digital self-leveling what does it mean um i would say why should you buy it uh because it's an investment in the devices you know long term um, serviceability. So like I said, you know, with mechanical self-leveling, over time, you're going to wear away that slip ring component in the camera head. And this isn't just present in our units. This is what every camera manufacturer in the industry uses to mechanically self-level the image. Rigid is the only one right now that's doing it digitally. Um, the benefit of that is we've completely removed that wear component. So now you will never have to take that camera in for a slip ring um, service again. So it's an investment in the you know longevity of, of your of your camera. Awesome. Someone asked, am I able to buy that tool separately to remove the camera head? Oh, the spanner wrench? Yes, we sell them. Um, yeah, we can uh, we can pull that cat number, but yes, we sell all the different sizes. Um, very easily get that to you. Another question is, why do they need to choose rigid over competitors? That is a great question. Um, and it's something, you know, I think about constantly. Um, you know, of course I'm biased, right? I'm the rigid camera guy, but if you're gonna ask me why you would buy a rigid system, I think first and foremost would be durability. Um, you know, I get to work with these cameras every day. They are insanely robust. Um, they will hold up over the test of time with pretty much anything you throw at them. Um, and that starts with the camera heads. They are custom built. You know, they're not made with off the shelf parts. They're actually designed and purpose built to last and, and last a very long time. Um, I would say also our, you know, our, the serviceability of them, um, like I was talking about before, you know, it's, it's an investment with digital self-leveling, but just in general, our products are very easily serviceable um, and diagnosable. Um, and then I think the last thing I would say really is uh, the features. Um, I talked a lot about the features on these units, um, you know, tilt sense, HDR, digital self-leveling, cable counting, these are all you know very unique things. And yeah, some competitors out there have those features. We have all of them though, and we are continuously innovating and trying to find ways to make these units uh, more beneficial for you guys. So that's why I would go with a rigid camera versus anyone else. Awesome, someone asked if they have to buy the attachment to be able to use this on an iPad. Uh, they do not, they can, you know, I, I actually have it right here on my phone. Um, it's right there on the App Store, so you can just download, it's the HQX Live app. Um, if you have a CSX series monitor, you can connect to it right now with your phone or with your iPad. You don't need the mount. The mount is a nice feature though for uh, ergonomics. Awesome, someone asked, is digital self-leveling in the micro drain and smaller cameras? And can you also talk about what true sense is? Yeah, so it is not right now in the smaller reel. So they're talking about your know, micro drain, micro reel, and nano reel. It is currently not in any of those products. Um, you know, potentially sometime in the future, but as of right now, there's not. There's not any. Okay. And then, sorry, there was a second part of that. What is true sense? Yes. Okay, so true sense. So I want to kind of differentiate this. The new products that we're launching, um, pretty much all the products we have. Um, our, our TrueSense enabled. Um, TrueSense is essentially, you know, our technological innovation that allows for this kind of two-way data communication that 
basically, you know, it, it is more sophisticated than just seeing an image on a screen. So when I'm talking about TrueSense, when I'm talking about cable counting, when I'm talking about HDR and digital self-leveling, all of those things are possible through TrueSense. That's essentially what, you know, kind of our nomenclature is to, to define all those features. Awesome. Okay, our last question. Are there any promotions you're currently running? Yeah, yeah I'm actually very excited to announce. Yes, we do have a promotion going on right now. Um, off the top of my head, a, a couple that are, that are standing out, you can buy a Mini Pro um, a 200 foot or a 200 foot standard with a CS12X monitor. You can get a free Scout. Um, you can also buy any reel with a Via, um, and you get a iPad in an HQX dock uh, with it for free. Um, on top of that, we do have one with a locator as well. It's Sorry, it's, I'm blanking on it right now, but we'll have uh, some, some promotion um, related uh, literature for you guys after the show. But yeah, um, we got some promos going on right now, so go get those deals while, while, they're, while they're happening. Cool. All right, thank you guys for tuning awesome. in. If you have any more questions, just reach out. Awesome, thanks guys, bye.